Hello everybody. Today I'm going to do a quick um, app review and it's about a application that helps you organize your photos for scrapbooking. Now I want to point out something really great that's going on. So Marion, who is with a piece of .com, um, Marion is doing a challenge where people take a picture and journal on that picture every day. So at first I thought it was just January, but apparently it's going to go on all year. And you take a picture and you journal it and then you make sure you bind it in a book. Now, I wanted to get involved because I think it is awesome to capture some sort of picture every day. Um, there are so many little tidbits of wonderful life that we take for granted that we can capture and journal about. So I just love the objective. But honestly, I didn't have time to stop every day and journal. So the priority for me was to get the photos taken. And then I could always journal them later. But I needed to be able to take them in such a way that I could get them organized so I'd remember later what day and what important thing happened, capture notes on that day, etc. Well, I found a perfect app. So I couldn't imagine carrying my camera around every day. It's just too precious. I didn't want it to get broken or lost or something in day-to-day -day life. But my iPhone, I got the new iPhone 4S, and the iPhone has a wonderful camera. This new one is just, the pictures are beautiful. You really can't complain about them. They print out beautifully on glossy paper. Um, I love them. It even lets you take the picture using the button on the front of the on the front of the phone, so you can snap your pictures right there. iPhone is always with me, so um, I'm gonna try to figure out the right angle to hold the phone at, so that you can see everything that I'm gonna show you using the App Store called Project 365. So you can just go into the App Store and do a search for Project 365. It gives you this orange icon here. So Project 365. I hope you can see it a little bit right there. And this particular app is perfect for the project because it helps you not only take the photos, but also journal on them um, briefly so that you can remember what you want to say in your journal, in your real journal. So in a way, it's a method of photo journaling digitally just until you have time to do it in your scrapbook. Turn it this way and hope it's not too much glare. When you open the app, and I had done a demo earlier on the 7th, so I'm going to do it over. Uh, when you open the app, it opens you immediately to the month, the current month, which is February, and the current day. So it's already highlighted today. Um, I haven't done anything this month yet. I actually took the challenge in January, so I have all my pictures for January, but I don't have anything for February because I haven't done it this month. But as soon as you open the app, it highlights today, and if you want to take a picture for today, you just click on today, and then on the bottom, you'll see the buttons, and you can click on the camera icon, and it will say, what do you want to do? Are you going to lose, use the camera, or do you want to choose from your existing photos in your photo library? So I'm going to say, use camera. And then the camera is ready for me to take a picture. So you just point it at what you want. You just point it at what you want to take a picture of, and press the little button. and it actually turns the flash on because there's no light in this room and then it previews the picture you just took on the bottom you've got a button that says retake and then on the right you've got a button that says use so you can either press the retake button or the use button so if I'm gonna press the use button then it will understand that okay you do want that photo at this point I go back down to my menu I'm waiting for it, the camera to focus and down here on the bottom I can go to a previous or next day I can take another photo if I change my mind I can share this photo or what I want to do right here is click the notes at this point I can type right in here my notes. So I'm just going to delete what was there earlier. And 
you can type it so you can say whatever you want to say using the um, keyboard right so you can say what was going on and why or you can let Siri type it for you so you can use your Siri icon please type the photo details and let Siri type it for you so she'll type it for you so if I'm outside sometime I will let Siri do the typing for me because it's just faster then I'm going to hit done and now I have my photo I have my notes the, the two that I wrote and the two that Siri wrote for me and the words that Siri wrote for me and now I can just go say done and now it's in my calendar okay you could tell you could do either way as far as landscape or portrait okay there it is on today now um, I can at any time take all of the photos for this month and share them out so if I go here I can either save the calendar with each photo that I can later print out as a poster in my house or I can share those photos um, with somebody or I can move the photos to one of my iPhoto um, libraries so I really love that very convenient for later use um, so I'm basically done except since I have an iPad I want to make sure with that picture I'll be able to see it on my iPad so I'm gonna click on the photo one more time and then I'm gonna hit globe here and two buttons come up upload and download I'm gonna hit upload this will upload it to the cloud where I can view it later on okay so now it's not just on my phone if I open up my iPad now and I go into the app I click on today hit that same globe and then hit download now it's here on my iPad so the same notes the same photo have been transferred down I think that's my only negative thing about the app is that in order to see it on other devices you do need to upload it manually um, like I just did to the web once it's uploaded it can be downloaded to any device I think it should be automatically syncing in my opinion because that's the whole point of iCloud I should be able to do it here and it shows up everywhere so other than that I love the app it enables me to organize my photos chronologically to add brief notes even using Siri so hands-free so that I can journal it later on so I thought I'd share that with you because I think the app is just awesome alright I hope you guys are photo journaling talk to you soon bye bye